Hello, this is Sammy. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, how to prepare the waiver. Okay, let's start. First, we need to log into MLS and go to Webform Authentication. And then we find the property we already prepared the offer. It's number 8, Training Drive. And then we go to forms on the right. You will see all the form we prepared offer for for the client. And uh, we just add the form. Click add. Enter the form number one two three. If you cannot memorize the number, you can just enter the uh, name. It's called waiver. They will come same result. We select Toronto. We add. After we add, we find the waiver is already in. Now we go to a green purchase cell, 100. And we go to number page number 6, Schedule A. You will see there's two conditions. If both of the conditions the buyer told you it's OK to go ahead, and then we co copy. Then we go to transaction form, we go to waiver, we paste, control V, we paste the two conditions here. And all the information, the name, street name, and the date is auto filled. And we go to next is, uh, this is uh, for the, you know, where the buyer is waived. For example, your buyer lived in Toronto, you can enter Toronto, Markham, Richmond Hill. This is the city. And uh, for here, uh, we can live in the authentic sign. And this is a buyer signature. And uh, this is acknowledge received from listing brokerage. And the listing agent will send it and uh, get back to you. And uh, then you will give it to your client and uh, give it to your client lawyer, uh, the mortgage broker, and the office. So once you finish, you can just click uh, here, authentic sign the pin on the right top. So we go to number page, step two, the client name, add, and then we need add their email. Remember, there's a, if there's a both blank, you leave a blank. If both either one, they put the uh, the signature name, you have to put the initial. Otherwise, it won't go through. So we we'll leave all blank. See, and the second buyer, we need a, their email. We go to save, and that step two is a document we already have. Step four is design. We are going to uh, design the form, let the client to sign it. There is no agent signature. You don't need to put yourself. And the first, we change it to the first buyer's name and the use drag and the drop. And the hold, you can hold, sign here. And the, all the way to the buyer, seller's name, buyer's name. And the click the setting. You will see the date and the time. We Add time, we put here, click again, they will sh pop up the window, click setting, we add a date, sample. We just put on the middle, it's okay. You don't need exactly to fit, it won't fit. Click and uh, add a date. Now we need a second buyer switch. And uh, add date. Okay, that's that's it. We just go click next and uh, let the client to sign it. After the client sign, and uh, you can either to uh, you can use the signed document send it to listing agent right away. Okay, so before we leave, before we finish this. Uh, uh, Training. We just uh, quickly show you what is difference with the waiver and the notice of uh, fulfillment, because a lot of people, you know, just wonder should I use a waiver? 
should I use notice of fulfillment? Notice of fulfillment form is one to four, but we rarely to use this form, notice of fulfillment condition. And uh, actually there is exactly the same information. We were notice of fulfillment, only the name difference, but uh, 99% of the agent we use a weaver. See, this is all the same. The reason we use a weaver is because is because of whatever any reason, whatever the buyer find out or not find out, but the buyer decide to move forward to weave the condition. So that's what weavers mean. Notice of fulfillment, that means the buyer already do their research already, you know, finished everything is totally finished, and then they decide to go ahead. So that is the only uh, difference. But uh, actually, in the uh, you know daily practice, we just use a waiver. We don't use a notice of fulfillment. But uh, anyway, in case you you are the listing agent, someone sends you notice of fulfillment, it's the same thing. Don't surprise. Okay, so that's all for today. We are uh, look looking for the to see your next video thank you bye bye